Han havde sådan en beton på det. Yes, I'm in Roskilde again, again, and um, this time some of the guys are gonna remove the top cover uh, on the head of his Alpha because he's uh, he wants to know what the kind of uh, camshafts it has. So let's see what it, what they'll find out. Så sådan en pensionistræge, så der, der er det jo... Du har ikke rigtig spændt den ene Så. Åh, <laughs> oh, kan lige have tændt kæt og ræne der. Frank, he's uh, suggesting that uh, the camshafts have been uh, swapped, that the inlet cam is on the, on the, uh, on the exhaust side. And he's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> and the chain isn't tense enough. No. Så prøv lige at stoppe, så skal vi ikke... That guy is going home to his uh, Montreal. He told us he had a Montreal as well. And he's taking it to Italy next week to Toscana with his wife. That's something. They're looking for tools to tighten the chain. Fordi uh, det er en lille stålplade, der ligger og klemmer inde på et uh, kogelspor. Okay. Og så kommer der mærker i, du ved, så tager den videre den ikke, uh, som den skal mere. Og det er jo ved det, at det er konisk. Nej. Ja. Øh, er det bare, der går og sætter de bil til salen eller sådan noget? Eller hvad det? Ja, det kan man snakke om. Du er hjælp. Det er der sgu nogle mærker også. Det er rigtigt. Hvorfor? Jeg er nødt til at kende helt sammen. Nej, det er ikke. Ja, man er lige nødt til at klikke. Jeg kan klikke ud, de mærker. Jeg tænker, at det er tænkt. to go Triumph or MG, two different uh, eras in the British sports car and you can see the MGA of course is uh, a little bit higher class maybe but the, the Spitfire is really uh, a legend. This is a 1500, really well restored. And there's another British jewel, the Sunbeam and the Dolomite. Also from Triumph. It's uh, obviously uh, an Alfa Romeo ripoff, of course. The 
they could never have uh, came up with such a, a nice concept themselves. Joe, 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 Joe.